Hello good people! We have another exciting Photoshop tutorial for you today. And today's Photoshop tutorial is going to be about how to embed text or an icon onto a folder. Similar to this. I made this last night and the idea was actually inspired by this guy Jason who I found on DeviantArt and he made a folder with the YouTube logo embedded on it. So I figured, hey, I'll make one for Mac OS X Tutorials 12 and that's what I did, and I'm going to show you guys how to do it. And Jason's DeviantArt will be in the right, so please check that out, because he has a lot of other cool icons and wallpapers. So, right here on my desktop, I have this folder picture, and I got that from Google Images, and you can too by doing a simple Google search. So I'm going to open that up in Photoshop. I'm going to want to zoom in a little bit center it. I'm going to want to add some text, some black text. And I'm just going to type the word Apple. The font is MyRed Pro and the size is 30. And after I do that, I'm just going to basically add a drop shadow and an inner shadow and a clipping mask. And that's really all you have to do. So let's start with the drop shadow. So we want the blend mode to be screen, and we want the color to be white. We'd like the opacity to be at 47%, and we'd like the angle to be at 90. We want the distance to be at 2. The spread can stay at 0, and the size can go down to 3. And for contour, that's how you pronounce it, we want this one all the way on the right. That's kind of like a slope hill type thing. Then we're just going to press OK. And now we're going to add the inner shadow. And we want the blend mode to be at multiply, which it is. And we want the color to be black, which it is. And we want to bring the opacity down to 10. We want the angle to be at 90 degrees, which it is. We want the distance to be at 3. The choke to be at 47. And we want the size to be at 6. And again, with contour, we want that slope hill. And press OK. And now we want to add the clipping mask. And we're going to add a clipping mask of the folder. So we're just going to right-click on the folder layer. Click Duplicate Layer. Click OK. And you want to drag it above the Apple Text layer. And then you want to go down to Layer. And you want to go down to Create Clipping Mask. And now there are two things you can go from here. You can either just lower the opacity, which I'll show you what it looks like if I lower the opacity, and you probably want to lower it down to about 80. And you zoom out. Right there, that looks kind of nice. Or, you can just darken the clipping mask, and you can darken it by going to Image, and then Adjustments, and Brightness and Contrast. And you want to bring it down to about negative 26. And then if you zoom out, that's it. There you go. There is your embedded text on a folder. And it works the same way for an icon. You just really put the icon on, add the drop shadow and the inner shadow, and add the clipping mask and darken it a little. So that's about it for this Photoshop tutorial. Again, check out Jason. His link will be in the right. I'd like to thank you guys for watching this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it, and take care.